So this cute little guy we named Angus. Angus came to us um, just about a week ago or so. He was found with his friend Bertie, who we'll take a look at in a little bit, uh, just in a, in a cage with no food, no water in the Ballinger Creek area. So guinea pigs are prey animals and um, it looks like they were fed, they were somebody's pets at some point and then that person for whatever reason chose to not keep them and chose to just discard them. So what we can offer is that we are the only shelter in Frederick County um, as long as your pet, as long as you reside in Frederick County have proof of that by way of a driver's license or a utility bill um, or if you find strays that are found within Frederick County we do take those animals. We are open admission. We don't turn animals away regardless of their temperament, their health, um, their species, anything else. So we do take um, in a number of guinea pigs right now. The most recent population as of a couple of days ago was uh, 13 guinea pigs in our in our shelter. So, um, but Angus is here again as a stray. Um, what we encourage people to do is if you have small animals like this in your family and you no longer can keep them, can't take care of them for any reason, please bring them directly to the shelter. Please don't leave them in a cage um, on the side of the, the highway or the road with no food and no water. That's inhumane, that's inappropriate. Um, it's just unthinkable sometimes. That we're glad that a citizen found them and was able to bring them to us so that we can provide proper care for them. But um, it, it's a little rattling when you think of two prey animals left without food and water and just vulnerable in that manner. So Angus is here now and he is safe and he is looking forward to, uh, to being adopted. We did have, um, a, we have volunteer vets that come to the shelter. We had one of those volunteer veterinarians uh, take a look at these guys. So Angus is in good body condition. Um, no meds needed. He had some hair loss, which could be allergy, it could be behavioral over licking, it could be if he was nervous at some point, um, but that is resolving on its own with no medical treatment needed. So he's in good shape. Um, he's a cute little guy and we're looking forward to finding him a forever home where he'll be kept indoors uh, in an appropriate cage with the appropriate nutrition and enri enrichment that he needs.